Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. Toyota introduced the first generation THS, Toyota Hybrid System, to the market in 1997. Since then, the system has evolved through developments such as two stage reduction system, THS2. THS2 with reduction device, THS2 with a parallel shaft, and multi-stage hybrid with a four-speed transmission. And, it has now reached its fifth generation. This system is also used by manufacturers other than Toyota. In 2005, Ford adopted a hybrid system with a mechanism similar to the THS. However, Ford claims that while they independently developed this technology, it bore similarities to Toyota's earlier system, so they obtained licenses for certain technologies from Toyota. In 2013, Mazda introduced a product that combined its own engine with the THS2. And in 2024, Subaru announced the Crosstrek SHEV, which combines its own boxer engine with the THS2 and a mechanical 4WD system. Let's take a look at how the THS operates. The most distinctive feature of the THS is, its combination of two electric motors and a planetary gear set. A planetary gear set consists of an internal gear, a sun gear, and a planetary carrier that combines multiple planetary pinions. This video introduces only a small portion of the functions of the planetary gear. When the internal gear is fixed, and the sun gear is rotated by an electric motor, the planetary carrier rotates at a reduced speed relative to the input. When the sun gear is fixed, and the planetary carrier is rotated, the internal gear rotates at an increased speed. For details on how the planetary gear operates, please watch the video titled, Planetary Gear and Hydraulic Multiplate Clutch. How they work. A link is provided in the description. As you have seen, the planetary gear set shifts gears by switching the input, fixing, and output among its three components, the sun gear, planetary carrier, and internal gear. Stepped automatic transmissions use multiple planetary gear set, such as two sets for a four-speed transmission, and four sets for a ten-speed transmission. If you would like to learn more about stepped automatic transmissions, please watch the video, Automatic Transmission, How It Works. The link is in the description. The THS uses a planetary gear set, in a different way compared to stepped automatic transmissions. When the sun gear is fixed by applying the brake, and the planetary carrier is rotated, the internal gear rotates at an increased speed relative to the input speed. When the braking force is slightly reduced, the sun gear begins to rotate slowly, and the rotational speed of the internal gear decreases slightly. When the braking force is further reduced, the rotational speed of the sun gear increases, while the rotational speed of the internal gear decreases. In other words, when the planetary carrier rotational speed is constant, it is possible to vary the internal gear rotational speed by controlling the sun gear rotational speed. Using this behavior of the planetary gear, the THS allows the vehicle's speed to change while maintaining a constant engine speed. Toyota has named this function the ECVT, Electronically Controlled Continuously Variable Transmission. One of the electric motors, named MG1, is used as a generator and as a starter motor for engine. It is connected to the sun gear of the planetary gear set. The engine output shaft passes through MG1 and the sun gear shaft to connect to the planetary carrier. The MG2, which is primarily used for driving, is connected to the internal gear. Power is transmitted from the internal gear shaft to the differential gear. We will briefly simulate the operation of the THS. When the vehicle starts, the engine remains stopped and the MG2 drives the vehicle. In the latest THS, the vehicle runs using only the MG2 at speeds of up to around 60 km per hour. When the vehicle speed reaches the specified value, the MG1 acts as a starter motor, and the engine starts. During engine-driven operation, 
the engine operates within its most fuel-efficient speed range. And the vehicle's speed is adjusted through the speed-changing function of the planetary gear. The rotation speed of the sun gear is controlled by the MG1, which acts as a generator to produce braking force. When the power generation is low, the load on MG1 is also small, causing the sun gear rotation speed to be high, while the vehicle speed is low. Increasing the power generation reduces the sun gear rotation speed, and increases the vehicle speed. During rapid acceleration, the MG2 also generates driving force to assist the engine. During deceleration, the engine is disengaged from the MG2, which operates as a generator to charge the battery. At this time, the resistance generated by the MG2 as a generator slows down the vehicle. This operation is called regenerative braking. The first generation THS extracted power from the internal gear shaft via a chain. The two-stage reduction type equipped with a two-speed transmission was developed for FR vehicles. The THS-2 shares the same basic mechanism as the THS, but features significant improvements in the motor, battery, and control technologies. The THS-2, with a reduction device, was equipped with a planetary gear reducer to slow down high-speed, high-voltage electric motor. The parallel shaft THS-2 replaced the planetary gear reducer with a parallel shaft type to achieve compactness and reduce drive losses. The multi-stage THS-2 is designed for FR vehicles and is equipped with a four-speed transmission. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.